Marine sailors and civilian Marines, this past year has been unprecedented. But you overcame every challenge with sheer determination. You trained in nearly every environment the Indo-Pacific region has to offer. And despite the global pandemic, you have remained committed to our nation, our Corps, and our allies and partners. You have proven the Navy and Marine Corps team is fully prepared to conduct operations ashore or at sea whenever we receive the call. Regardless of the challenges we may face next year, we will continue to train. As we head into a new year, here's a quick look at what you did in 2020. Sit back, crank it up, and have a happy new year. The Marines and sailors of Task Force Koa Moana 21 have been doing great work in Palau. It's been rewarding to see firsthand the infrastructure projects they have completed and the positive impact they have had in the community. The commander of U.S. Marine Corps Forces, Pacific met with the Marines and sailors of Task Force Koa Moana 21 during a visit to the Republic of Palau in November 2021. U.S. Marine Corps Lt. Gen. Stephen R. Rudder, Commander, MARFORPAC, visited the Marines and sailors as they worked with the Republic of Palau as a sign of partnership and commitment. Palau and the U.S. have a storied history of friendship dating back almost 100 years since that time. The relationship has grown and strengthened to what it is today as a testament to their friendship. The Republic of Palau and the U.S. entered into the Compact of Free Association in 1982. Task forces such as COA Moana 21 help reaffirm the U.S.'s commitment to the COFA and promote ideals shared by both nations, such as a free and open Indo-Pacific for all countries, regardless of size or population. The rudder was able to examine several projects completed by Task Force COA Moana 21, including the Joint Range Complex, road improvements in Peleliu, and improvements made for the Palau Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting Station. Additionally, Rudder was able to meet with other key leaders to include Sarangal Whips Jr., President of the Republic of Palau, U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Palau, Ambassador John Hennessy Nyland, Temi Schmull, Governor of Peleliu State and Kenowski Suzuki, Governor of Angor State. The United States network of allies and partners continues to be our nation's greatest strength, said Rudder. The efforts of Task Force Koa Moana Marines reinforce our nation's commitment to the Palauan people and advance our shared interests not just in Palau but across the Indo-Pacific. The visit occurred shortly after the death of Ibejil Utaka Gibbons, Palau's Paramount Chief, and a U.S. Army veteran.
Rudder and Task Force Koa Moana 21 extend their deepest condolences to our partners in Palau as they mourn the passing of our deceased brother in arms. Task Force Koa Moana 21 is comprised of Marines and sailors from 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, a subordinate command of MARFORPAC. Koa Moana, which means, Ocean Warrior, is designed to strengthen and enhance relationships between the United States and partner nations in the Indo-Pacific region, improve interoperability with local security establishments and serve as a humanitarian assistance survey team afloat in support of USINDOPACIFIC strategic and operational objectives. Task Force Koa Moana 21 has the unique opportunity and privilege of working with the Republic of Palau as a sign of the U.S. commitment to the people of Palau and our partners and allies in the Indo-Pacific region. <laughs>